How to Fix a Corked Wine, brought to you by ProjectWine.com. So what is a corked wine? Well, you've probably been in a restaurant seeing people eyeball a cork really closely or squeezing it or whatever else. This has nothing to do with that. There are reasons to inspect cork, but it actually, ironically, is not due to a, quote, corked wine. Um, so it's got nothing to do with the way the cork looks or feels. It's really about a chemical compound that can be in some cork called TCA. And as much as the cork industry tries to get rid of TCA, they have limited success. And there will uh, probably always be some percentage of cork that is somewhat tainted. And when the wine comes in contact with TCA, some bad things happen. So how do you know if a wine is corked? Well, the first way is the smell. It smells awful. The descriptors that are most often used are things like moldy cardboard, uh, rotten uh, mushrooms, wet dog, just really bad stuff. Um, and if TCA is really strong, it can be so powerful that you don't even need to pour the wine into a glass. You just get anywhere near that bottle and you know. So what if you're not sure if a wine is corked? Because sometimes you can't really tell. It smells a little bit funky, but you don't know, is it really corked or is it something else? Well, the best way to know is just to let the wine rest for 20 minutes because the one thing about a corked wine is that it'll always get worse with exposure to air. It never gets better. So there are some other things that can be going on with the wine and they'll either kind of you know, blow off and get better or they may just stay in the same state. But when a wine is corked, it's all downhill. So this is a really important thing to keep in mind because if you're in a restaurant and a waiter serves you a wine, and you're not sure if it's corked, you know, it may smell a little funky, but you're not really sure, you might just want to tell them, the waiter that you want the wine to rest and that you'll come back to it in 20 minutes to make that determination. Um, of course, you can always err on the side of caution and send it back, but if you don't want to do that, it's a really helpful technique um, that I've used in restaurants sometimes. So if you know that the wine is corked, which totally sucks, what do you do next? Well. If you're in a restaurant, then obviously you can send it back. If it's a wine that you bought from a store recently, the uh, vendor should take it back. Um, they can send it to their distributor too, so it shouldn't cost them anything. Uh, but if it's a wine you bought a really long time ago, or if it's something that has sentimental value, and you just can't bear to pour it down the drain, there may be a cure. The MacGyver method. Yes, little known MacGyver wine trick. Uh, no, just kidding. Um, MacGyver did not uh, do this to a bottle of wine, as far as I know. I watched a lot of MacGyver as a kid, but if the fate of the world had rested on MacGyver's shoulders, he totally would have done this. And it's plain old plastic wrap, which will karate chop TCA's butt. Um, basically, the TCA molecules will bind to the plastic wrap, and so the plastic wrap acts like a chemical vacuum cleaner. The key is just making sure that you give the wine enough time so that the plastic can vacuum up that TCA. Um, I know this sounds kind of crazy if you've never done it, so just in case you don't believe me, uh, here's a couple quotes. One is from a uh, professor of wine chemistry at UC Davis, who says it's kind of messy but very effective in just a few minutes. Um, so he would know best, Mr. Andrew Waterhouse. Um, and then also there's a quote from the New York Times confirming that TCA is chemically similar to polyethylene and sticks to the plastic. So Sounds crazy, but this stuff is true. So it's just three easy steps to fixing your corked wine. The first is to get some plastic wrap. The second is to roll an 18 inch piece lengthwise. You don't want to roll it really tight because if you keep it kind of loose, then the wine can get inside of that little bundle. But if you make it too tight, then it's not gonna be able to get inside of it. So there'll be more exposure if you leave it a little loose. Then last but not least, you just insert that into the bottle and let it rest. And if you roll the long piece, it should leave plenty sticking out the top of the bottle so that you'll be able to pull it out when you're done. So how long do I have to wait once that plastic is in the bottle? Well, if the wine reeks so badly that you could just smell the bottle, you don't even have to get near it, um, it's going to be at least 20 minutes, and it really could be an hour. It depends on how much TCA the plastic has to kind of vacuum up. Um, there is one word of warning here. After about 20 minutes, you're probably going to notice the plastic taste in the wine. Could even be less than that. It really depends on the type of wine, um, how powerful the body is, and so on and so forth. So I think the, the best thing 
is to try it every 10 minutes and see how it goes. Um, and you know, you can do it by smell or you can even taste the wine if you're feeling really bold. So does this really work? Have we tried it? Absolutely. Um, at Project Wine, we do a lot of crazy things with wine and we've certainly run into our share of cork bottles. So have definitely tried it. Um, red wine definitely works the best because you have strong flavors, you have tannins, you have a lot of material there so that the plastic uh, doesn't overwhelm the wine. Um, white wine can improve and in fact the aroma you'll notice a huge difference um, after you use this method but it's kinda harder to cover up that flavor of the plastic so um, the wine, the white wine will probably never really be what it should be but you have a good chance with reds. The only exceptions on the white side would be if it's only a little bit corked or if it's a really heavy, rich, intense wine, like maybe um, uh, a really uh, high alcohol uh, California Chardonnay or um, a white Rhone varietal, something like that. So good luck. Uh, hope this helps. Please visit Project Wine for more tips, uh, some wine reviews, and a whole lot of goofing off drinking wine. Thanks so much.